okay friend this is a uh, last session uh, monitoring the system okay uh, we have a stored procedure called sysmon using sp underscore sysmon for monitoring sp underscore sysmon provides a detailed report of the activity on your system and provides you with a number of ways to specify the type of information you want to receive the time interval during which data for the report will be collected and other options that determines how the report will be generated the sp sysmon reports consist of a number of separate sections you can run sp underscore sysmon to generate the complete report or only one of the individual sections you can also specify a time interval over which the report should run or execute the stored procedure yourself at the beginning and end of the desired time period the sp sysmon reports monitoring data only from the sample period so that means you have to specify a sample period and it will collect the data over a period of time specified by you make sure you make decisions about tuning based on representative data for example to tune spin locks based decision on the data from peak utilization report however based a decision to decrease the number of engines on a number of sample representing typical and peak workload so that means you have to collect the data over a period of time depending the workload also the data for the report is collected from a set of monitor counters that are maintained by adaptive server these counters are also used by other applications such as monitor server by default the sp sysmon report clears these counters when it is invoked clearing the counters can interfere with the other applications using the counters causing the data they report to be invalid the performance tuning tips for sp sysmon are based on the sampling interval you specify with sp underscore sysmon review the recommendations thoroughly based on your system requirements before you incorporate them into your production system sybase strongly recommends that you set up a test area with your data and test any changes before you implement any of the recommendations by the sysmon since sp underscore sysmon provides a snapshot view of the system you may need to reconsider recommendations when the workload changes when you uh, when to run sys sp underscore sysmon you can run sp underscore sysmon before and after tuning adaptive server configuration parameters because this is a typical time you monitor when you make any changes in the configuration parameters you would uh, yeah, definitely you uh, may want to check the effect of the parameters which you have changed this data gives you a basis for the performance tuning and lets you observe the results of configuration changes use sp underscore sysmon when the system exhibits behavior you want to investigate for example to find how the system behaves under typically loaded conditions you can use sp underscore sysmon run sp underscore sysmon when conditions are normal and are typically loaded for example consider whether it makes sense to run sp underscore sysmon for 10 minutes starting at 7 pm which is before batch job begins and after most of the days online transaction processing users have left the site instead of that run sp underscore sysmon during the normal oltp load and during batch jobs so therefore it is definitely it leaves everything to the dba to check when it, you should collect the sample data so if there are four different working hours and you expect four different kind of loads at different four timings so you should collect the data over of uh, these four different time periods so because it is sampling only so you have to collect the valid justified sample based on the time and load where, where your system is expected to have when to run sp underscore sysmon it may in many tests it is best to start the application first and then start sp sysmon 
when the cache are likely to have reached a steady state if you are trying to measure capacity be sure that amount of work you give the server keeps it busy for the duration of the test many of the statistics especially especially those that measures data per second can look extremely low if the server is idle during part of the sample interval Many, uh, many of the statistics, especially those measure data per second, can look extremely low if the server is idle during part of the sample interval. In general, SP underscore Sysmon produces valuable information when you use it. For example, before and after cache or pool configuration changes, you should run it. Before and after any SP configure changes that may affect performance. For example, changes to memory size, cache or disk input output related options, you should run it. Before and after addition of new queries to your application mix, you should run it. Before and after an increase or decrease of the number of adaptive server engines, you should try to run it. When adding new disk devices and assigning objects, you should use it. During peak periods to look for contention or bottlenecks, you should run it. During stress test to evaluate the adaptive server configuration for a maximum expected application load, you should run SP Sysmon. So when performance seems slow or behave abnormally, you should also run Sysmon. You may also find Sysmon to be helpful during query or application development. For example, when you are working with indexes and updates to see if certain updates reported as a deferred where call are resulting in direct versus deferred updates. Checking the caching behavior of particular query or a mix of queries. Tuning the parameters and cache configuration for parallel index creation. So definitely you should uh, find this uh, SP underscore Sysmon very very helpful under these conditions. Invoking SP underscore Sysmon, it is a typo here, I is missing. Use SP Sysmon with a fixed time interval to provide a sample for specified number of minutes. With the begin sample and end sample parameters to start and stop the sampling. You can also tailor the output to provide the information you need. And you can print the entire report also. You can print just one section of the report such as cache management or lock management. So therefore it, it is a complete detailed report. Now choice is yours at the time of running or when you specify the options you want to run the entire report. Or you just want selected part of the report. Fixed time intervals, you can, to invoke sys, sp underscore sysmon, you can use isql to execute sp underscore sysmon interval section and uh, application monitoring. Now interval must be in the form of hour, minute, second. For example, to run sp sysmon for 10 minutes, you can use sp underscore sysmon 0, 0 hours, 10 minutes, 0 seconds. Okay. So print only the data cache management section of the report. You can use this SP underscore Sysmon and that, that is type of application as I said can be specified. Uh, sorry, section. Data cache management. So D cache section can be provided. So you can specify the time period. You can specify the section and you can use a begin sample and sample parameters to invoke SP monitor to start sampling. Issue queries and end sample and print the results at any point in time. For example, you can use sp underscore sysmon begin sample execute procedure some procedure name execute procedure some another another procedure and you can select some total of sales from titles and this is a query. Now you can say end sample. So it has monitored while you have executed procedure 1, procedure 2 and use, use this query. So that is a sample data will be collected and you can check what was the behavior of the system at this time. Complete syntax of this uh, is uh, first option. There are many options of uh, using this. So for example, first syntax is sp underscore sysmon begin sample. This is one. Second is sp underscore sysmon followed by interval within square bracket, you know, no clear or section or application to monitor. Same way, uh, begin sample, end sample, interval, section and all that. So we have different options of monitoring this using sysmon. I have a lab assignment which I have shared with you to work with this, uh, this monitoring. So the begin sample parameter is 
start sampling you cannot specify a section when you specify begin sample okay no clear means when this option is included the monitor counters are not zeroed out section abbreviation of the one of the section printed by sysmon application monitoring specify whether to print application detail application and login detail or no application detail and no awpl that means skip the applications or by login section of this report so this is the default end sample means end sampling and print the report intervals specify the time interval for the sample it must be in hours minutes and seconds as i discussed earlier very simple uh, look at this simple example this uh, is example 1 prints monitor information after 10 minutes so that's it example 2 print only disk management section of the sp sysmon reports after 5 minutes so sp underscore sysmon 5 minute and disk io is that easy to even uh, execute this and the output of uh, sp underscore sysmon now sp sysmon displayed information about adaptive server performance it sets internal counters to zero when then waits for the specified interval while activity on the server causes the counters to be incremented if you use sp underscore sysmon in batch mode with begin sample and end sample the time interval between executions must be at least 1 second and you can use wait for delay 0 0 0 0 0 hours 0 0 minute and 0 1 second to lengthen the execution time for a batch during the sample interval results are stored in signed interval integer value especially on the systems with many cpus and high activity these counters can overflow if you see negative results in your sp sysmon output reduce your sample time okay how to use the reports sp sysmon can give you information about adaptive server system behavior before and after tuning study the entire report to understand the full impact of the changes you make sometimes removing one performance bottleneck reveals another so in addition to pointing out areas of tuning work sp sysmon output is valuable in addition to pointing out areas of tuning work sp sysmon output is valuable in determining when further tuning will not pay off in additional performance gains it is just as important to know when to stop tuning adaptive server or when the problem resides elsewhere uh, elsewhere as it is to know what to tune so this is how you should report use the reports generated by sp sysmon a single sp sysmon run presents resources utilization during the specific time interval make sure that the time interval you use clearly represent the workload and situation for which you are tuning the adaptive server how to use the reports other information can contribute to interpreting sp sysmon output for example information on configuration parameters in use from sp configure for example uh, additional uh, information can contribute to information on cache configuration and cache binding from sp cache config and sp underscore help cache and uh, of course this information can contribute to information on disk devices segments and objects stored on them reading the output it displays the information statistics in a considered consistent tabular format which is easy to remember easy to learn and easy to understand thank you so much for watching and this was the last session of this uh, dba series of uh, Sai